Hi, this is Mike with SciMaster.com, and today we're going to give you a, a little tip on how to up-res low-resolution images. There's no right or wrong way to do this. The end result is just trying to take a low-res image and upscale it. Let's just go with the case scenario. An elementary school needs 18 by 24 yard signs with their school mascot on it. The school mascot they give you is low res. It's about 512 by 512, 72 DPI. The problem is you need to put this on an 18 by 24 yard sign, minimum resolution of 150 DPI. The first thing instinctively most people do is they'll bring it into Photoshop and they'll manually try to stretch out the image. This is not the most effective way to do it because you're gonna get a lot of pixelation as you up res this image. So one of the things I like to do is I'll go into Photoshop and I'll use what's called neural filters. So you go up to the top of Photoshop, you go to filters, neural filters, and once you open this up, you're gonna see a, a zoom feature. So zoom this image by about five times, and then you're gonna to wanna to check remove JPEG artifacts. After that, you're gonna take the noise reduction slider to around four, hit okay. The end result is a much better image. Photoshop does a really good job of smoothing things out and removing a lot of the pixelization. So you can see the difference between your original low res image that you manually scaled to what Photoshop produced. Another way to do it in Photoshop is just to do an image rescale. So you're gonna go up to the top, select image, image size, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is set it to about 500%. You're gonna to wanna to go and check down to preserve details 2.0 and then reduce noise to 30%. This also produces a really great result for you that is a major difference between your original low res image that you tried to manually scale. Okay, another option you can go with is you can take this low res image and you can try to vectorize it. I found a really good free version online that'll take like a JPEG or a PNG and vectorize it for you. So if you go to vectorize.com, this one's free. You can upload your image and then it'll process the image and you get a fairly decent vectorized version of this logo. It's not perfect, it's a little wonky in areas, but sometimes this will get the job done. We in-house use a Corel Draw, which to me by far is one of the best image to vectorize plugins. That's just awesome. Bring in your image, go up to bitmaps, outline trace, and then high quality image. After that, you'll see that you have this almost flawless vectorized version of the low res image that you uploaded. So once again, these are just tips and tricks that we use. You probably have your own methods that work for you, which is fantastic. This is just kind of the ways we do it. If you have methods or process that work for you in up images, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment in this video and, and share the knowledge because that's, that's what this is all about. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you.